Hey everybody, it's me Hetty and let's get going. Uh, I know I said this in a Merry Christmas video, but I want to tell you again, I truly, truly, truly meant what I said in that video. And if you hadn't seen it, you may want to see it. I wish us all the best upcoming new year and everything else. All right. But right now I got some fries and I need some fry sauce and y'all oh my goodness when we're going to have hamburgers for sure even if we just have chips with it i make up a batch of this for the hamburgers themselves okay so what i have here is i have one cup of mayonnaise some of this stuff please listen some of this stuff is to taste sometimes i mix this and i tweak it a little bit so you know, everything is personal about what you, and you know what you and your family likes, okay? So anyway, getting back to that, I'm giving you a base recipe. Like I said, one cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of ketchup, a nice teaspoon, like a rounded teaspoon's worth of Creole mustard. Uh, if you can get this Creole mustard, you got to get it. If you don't like it, just use either yellow mustard or no mustard. You can use dry mustard. Uh, really good is Dijon mustard, okay? So anyway, I use Creole in mine, okay? I have two teaspoons of bread and butter pickle brine. If you don't have that, then you can try, uh, like try, start out with like just one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, just one. You need the tang to come in with everything else, okay? What I have here is I have a teaspoon of paprika. I have a half a teaspoon of my uh, house seasoning. We made that in a video. Remember, well, I mean, this is a different batch, but I mean, if you want this recipe, I'll put it down below. I have a uh, little less than a half of a teaspoon of onion powder, and I have one teaspoon of just regular sugar, okay? Optional, all these are optional. You're going to have to have some seasoning with it. Okay, so having said that, let's get started. And of course, uh, this time today, I'm going to use, uh, got to have it, either Tabasco or Louisiana hot sauce. Just a little doop doop, like whatever you like. Because remember, we're not making like a triple batch or anything. So it will be to taste. So I strongly suggest that you taste it before you serve it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, and go on the mayonnaise. Get you out of get out of there. Okay. <laughs> Ends going the mustard and the ketchup. So many things. I mean, a lot of times I make stuff, y'all, and when I'm gonna do a video, I actually have to go back and try to measure as I go. And I'm gonna add that pickle juice. Yeah, I know I'm using this. This is my flat whisk. I don't usually use this one, do I? But it's a good one. But I use it for stuff like this too all the time. And it was the closest one I grabbed on the way to the table. Give it a really good taste. Uh, <laughs> well, taste too, but also a stir. And I am going to taste it. Oh man, that is good. Again, you can tweak your spices. And like I said, I'm going to come in here. Add that just a little bit. Now that looks like a lot on camera, but really, it probably, it was maybe a rounded eighth of a teaspoon. I'll tell you what's good also is uh, cayenne. If you really like it hot, but you know, if you're being family friendly, you're not trying to burn everybody's mouth off. You're just trying to enhance the french fries and be different from ketchup. All right. Sorry to ding like that. That's aggravating. I know. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get those fries. Wasn't that quick? I hope you can see this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm, oh, lights are too big. Lights are too bright. Everything's so light colored, huh? <laughs> All right, anyway, 
This is good, y'all. You gotta try it. Fry sauce. But I have tweaked it to the way I like it. And you can too. Sometimes I put a little garlic. Sometimes I put more onion. You know, uh, I put different things in it. You know, so just, some, like I said, sometimes I make it with dry mustard. Sometimes I like the Creole in there. I like it with Dijon. So y'all just keep that in mind when you're making it. Uh, you can add a little more mayonnaise if that's what you like. You can add a little less ketchup, I mean more ketchup. Just things like that. Use your imagination. Some people even put a tablespoon or so of relish in there. And I've done that too. It's good. One more thing I wanted to add is that for sure you can make this ahead of time and it'll keep really, really well for about three days in the fridge. I don't keep anything longer than three days, you know, four days tops, depending on the food, but things like sauces and stuff that I mix up, if it's not eaten up in three full days, it's gone. I'd rather mix up more and things with mayonnaise in them, especially you got to be careful with. Uh, and I'm not even talking about, don't leave this out on the cabinet too long. Just put it in the fridge and get it back out. And I tell you what I do, and I don't have one here in front of me, but I have, you know, those uh, old school condiment bottles. I, I keep them. I buy them a dozen at a time because I use them for uh, funnel cakes and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to wrap that up. How do you like that? Wasn't that fast? Okay, I love y'all. Got more stuff coming up. Working on it every day. And y'all, I sincerely thank you for watching. And I do want to tell you, I am so behind on my comments. So please, please bear with me. I am trying to catch up. But there... I'm happy to say there are so many comments, and I am telling you, 99.9% .9 of them are positive, and wow, I mean, a girl couldn't ask for anything more. Okay, so I will see y'all in the next video. Take care. Bye.